How to fix error code 0x8007007 e on Windows 10. Below are some tips that may fix error code 0x8007007 e on Windows 10. 1. If you cannot play with some apps such as the movies and TV app, try these. 1.1. Verify that your computer's time, date, language, and region settings are correct. 1.2. Clear the temp. folder on your computer, press the Windows key and R. In the run box, type temp, and then press enter. Select all files and folders, right click them, and then tap or click delete. 1.3 export current Internet Explorer settings then reset your IE. 1.4 use the system file checker tool to repair missing or corrupted system files, https colon slash slash bit dot ly slash 2 cfvk89. 2. If you can't update your Windows 10, try, run the Windows Update Troubleshooter at http colon slash slash aka.ms slash woo diagram. Run the system update readiness command as admin, dism.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash scan health and dism.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. For more info re features on demand, see https colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2 kino gt. Perform a clean boot. Run this command chkds. slash f as admin run media creation tool as admin try resetting the software distribution folder note before carrying out this procedure disconnect from the internet that means turning off Wi-Fi and disconnecting from a wired connection if you don't Windows 10 will indicate some files are in use and cannot be modified or the command will be non-responsive also you should restart your computer after disconnecting from the internet the easiest way to do it is to enable airplane mode from the action center Windows key and a Press Windows key and X on the keyboard and then select Command Prompt, Admin, from the menu. Type the following commands at a command prompt. Press the Enter key after you type each command. Netstop wow serve netstop crypt svc netstop bits netstop missus server ren c colon backslash windows backslash soft twa redistribution software distribution dot old ren c colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash catru 2 catru 2 dot old. Netstart wow serve netstart crypt svc netstart bits netstart missus server type exit in the command prompt to close it and then restart the computer. Install the problematic update via Microsoft Update Catalog site. Hint, type the exact KB number and click search. Click the download and run the file. Configure the Windows Update services by running the below commands as admin, sc config wow serve start equals auto sc config bit start equals auto sc config cryptsvc svc start equals auto sc config trusted installer start equals auto once done. Restart your device. Run the update using the Windows 10 ISO, https colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2 bhnr 7 b Visit https colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2 go eaj. Windows update frequently asked questions and https colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2 ljj4. How many ways are there to install Windows 10 upgrades and updates, to apply other workarounds, i.e., upgrade assistant, media creation tool, ISO file, etc. Do the gold stand.
Clean install, https colon slash slash bit dot ly slash 2 nzt 0 mz. Follow https colon slash slash bit dot ly slash 2 sqrnfa and fix update error in Windows Update. Also try these, 1, update the BIOS and chipset drivers at the system slash motherboard makers site, 2, temporarily remove third party antivirus slash security program via the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide, 3, 3. If you met .NET Framework unhandled exception error 0x8007007 unable to load Betusk 01.dll. FYI, Betusk 01.dll is a HP device driver file, this error message appear when the HP software fails to load this .dll file. Some of our community members have got this problem resolved by uninstalling and reinstalling HP device drivers. Try, remove all HP related device drivers via the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide, Reboot your system when the uninstallation is done. Then download and install the best compatible driver from HP website as admin. Run Microsoft System File Checker Tool, SFC slash Scano, as admin. For Visual Studio programmers, go to Visual Studio in Microsoft Developers Network, MSDN, forum at https colon slash slash bit dot ly slash 2 cbldhh for more help. Meantime, you may read https colon slash slash bit dot ly Workaround for 0x8007007 when trying to, to locate an instance of Visual Studio and get some tips. 4. For Outlook users, try 1. Repair https colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2 cphfpg, then reinstall Office Outlook client. 2. Run Outlook as administrator. 5. If your client's pinter did not work properly, check if the driver has been installed correctly. If not, export current registry settings and locate then delete a registry entry at hklm backslash system backslash current control set backslash control backslash print backslash printers backslash printer name backslash copy files backslash bidding.